Remote Palmyra Atoll in the Central Pacific is a laboratory for a natural environment isolated from most human impacts. These shores offer a million seabirds one of the few nesting areas within a half million square miles. They serve as a sanctuary to many threatened and endangered species. The waters here harbor five times as many coral species as the Florida Keys, and among the highest fish biomass in the Pacific. It's also home to one of the world's last coral reef ecosystems dominated by top predators. The first thing you recognize when you jump in the water in Palmyra is you're not at the top of the food chain. There's lots of large animals there that really dominate that you don't see anywhere else on Earth anymore, and they really dominate the system and, and they dictate how the whole ecosystem functions. When you get to a place where at 60 feet you can have such abundance of marine life and know that it has not been tampered with or overfished and the coral is still preserved, it's a magnificent experience. There are very few other places that you can bring people who you can impact with what you've done and what is being created there to a place that they can get some idea of what needs to be done in their own areas. The Nature Conservancy's purchase of Palmyra Atoll led to its establishment as a national wildlife refuge in 2001 and a national marine monument in 2009. Today, more than 13 million acres of ocean wilderness are protected, and scientists from around the world come here to study climate change, coastal ecosystems, and marine biodiversity. With each subsequent generation, we have lower and lower expectations of what we expect from our natural environment. Places like Palmyra really give us an opportunity to reset the clock, to show us what these systems looked like in the past, and how to gauge our management actions into the future. Palmyra is about as close to pristine as you can get anywhere in the world today. Uh, it's isolated, yet it's accessible. It's got research facilities. It's got reefs in great condition. So it's got high-level predators on the reefs like sharks. What it tells us is what we should be aspiring for in our management and what we really can achieve if we are effective in managing reefs. So it's the one place in the world that really gives us what we should be aiming for. Within Palmyra's waters and shorelines lay many answers to how islands and coasts may be restored. These are lessons that can be applied throughout the Conservancy and across the global conservation movement. <laughs>